Hey guys, Caleb Bex 01 back again with another tracklist ranking. Today's album that we will be doing the tracklist ranking on is Beartooth's third album from 2018, Disease. Um, I've got my random album review out at the moment for this album, so if you want to know my thoughts on the album as a whole and not the songs in particular, um, go check that out. Um, but before we get into the tracklist ranking, a little quick overview on this album. So. As I said, this album came out in 2018, it was their third album, and at the time, I really wanted to see some improvement from what was a disappointing sophomore album being aggressive. Um, I feel like aggressive was a step down from their first album, and I needed Disease to like really rise to the occasion. And, you know, at the time, 2018, I felt like this album was a bit of a letdown. But, that's what's good about doing these tracklist rankings and random album reviews and revisiting some albums that I haven't heard in a while, um, you can get surprised. And even though this album isn't a home run or nothing, uh, there are definitely some songs there that flicked in my brain and went, yeah, I remember really liking that al um, that song. Or there were some surprise hits and, you know, to be fair, there are some songs that really don't hold up and, you know, aren't the strongest. But with that being said, let's get into the track list ranking. As you guys know, it's the whole album. I'm ranking it from my least favourite song to my favourite song on the album. So let's get underway with my number 12. Coming in at my number 12 is Bad Listener, the fifth track on the album. Sort of falls somewhere in the middle of the track list. With a song like this, it kind of brings up a little pet peeve that I can have with bands like Beartooth who are, you know, heavy metal slash hard rock, is songs being loud for the sake of being loud. And I feel like Bad Listener is a really good example. I feel like this song doesn't really have a lot of substance there for it. If I'm being honest, it actually is kind of catchy in some way. But I feel just overall it is loud for the sake of being loud and just heavy for the sake of being heavy. They're like, oh, we're a heavy metal band. We just got to have that fucking brooding song. And the song is really brooding. It has a presence. But unfortunately, I just I just feel like it's loud for the sake of being loud. Lyrically, there's not a lot there that has a lot of depth to me. And that's why Bad Listener comes in as sort of the worst song on this album, in my opinion. Um, yeah, as I said, sometimes I do honestly find myself singing along. It is kind of catchy, but otherwise there's not much there, so that's why it's my number 12. Coming in for my number 11 is, in my opinion, the most forgettable song on the album, being Enemy. The only thing that's saving it from being last place is I actually do like the choruses and I feel like lyrically it delivers more than um, what Bad Listener does. However, yeah, I just feel like this song overall is pretty forgettable. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> listening to it, it, it's highly skippable. Um, the only thing saving it from, as I said, being last place is it's lyrics over Bad Listener and a pretty strong chorus, but overall it's got to fall somewhere. Second last is Enemy. I said in my random album review for Beartooth Standards, this is their softest album. Still pretty heavy because it's Beartooth. But now to the softest song in this album being Believe. Believe, in my opinion, it's actually not too bad of a song again. It's just very average. I just find it a little bit too, I don't know, cliche. I feel like the choruses are very safe. Uh, just the whole song in general, I feel like, is really safe. The choruses just sound like, I don't know, just some nothing new to added to it. You know, just this make me believe. Like, who hasn't heard a song like that before? Um, I don't have any problem with um, Beartooth doing more, you know, laid back stuff. Not everything needs to be heavy and, you know, fucking balls to the wall, but I feel like Believe just doesn't hit this mark that it needs to hit, and that's why it's my number 10. Why... 
Coming in at my number nine, we have the track After All. This is a song that I just feel like is really just average. <laughs> like, that's just why it falls here at my number nine. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's really nothing too eye catching. There's so many just fucking better songs on this album and just better songs in general. After all, it's just very middle card, and you know, if you want to be high in this tracklist ranking, you need to deliver a really good song. Obviously, it holds a spot over three other songs, but you know, it's got to deliver a little bit more. That's all I have for After All. Fire comes in at my number eight. What an absolute earworm. This song is just a fucking ball of energy, you know. Um, lyrically, I don't have too much of a connection to this song. I actually, off the top of my head now, I can't even remember what it's about. But it's a really catchy song, and it really just delivers this ball of energy and hype. It really is just a fucking hype song. Um, you can have a lot of fun, um, fun with Fire. Fire is the third song on this um, album. So even though it's the third song, the album as a total opens with a banger because it has fire at the start. It gives it this boost of energy that it needs. Unfortunately, I couldn't put it a bit higher because I feel like the other songs that I have above this deliver more on just all-round listening. But Fire, definitely a plus on the album. You know, it's uh, a song that I can find myself coming back to. And unfortunately, number eight is as high as I'll go for it. But Fire, good song. Coming to my number seven is the title track of the album being Disease. I feel like a lot of Beartooth fans would probably have Disease higher, and originally it was higher, but when I was listening to this album, the song's good. It's a good song, there's nothing terribly wrong with it, but compared to what the other songs have, um, this song just sort of lacks in some departments, you know. Um, I feel like it could just deliver more energy. Um, you know, there's a lot more memorable tracks on this album, unfortunately. Um, and that's sort of a letdown because, you know, with title tracks, you always want to make sure that song is a fucking heavy hitter and you can always return to it happily. But Disease doesn't quite reach the mark, but still a pretty solid song overall. Clever comes in at my number six, and overall, this was the most surprising song in this album. Originally, it was a lot of spots back on this um, ranking list, but just every time I listened to this album, I swear it just moved up and up and up. Um, I think originally what made me not really like this song is just that one line in particular. Um, I guess being clever is my safety net. I don't know, I really just don't fucking like that line. But the song is, overall, besides that line, I actually really like. Um, it's insanely catchy. It's a good way to wrap up the album. Um, I think I was just rubbed the wrong way by that line. And to be fair, some of the other um, writing in the song can be a little bit cringy like that. I just feel like that line is really cringy. It really sticks out like a sore thumb on this song. But, you know, I can't really let it get to me just before that one line. Um, clever. It is a really good song. Coming in at my number six, I, I'm i just surprised that it, as I said, it worked its way up from such a low position to where it is now, so i got to give it props for that. But let's get into my top five. Now we're getting into the heavy hitters, at least for the standards of this album, and coming in at my number five is Infection. Infection is fucking badass. Infection is so awesome. I love this song. Um, looking at the track list now, I'm like, fuck, maybe it should have been a little bit higher because this song has so much attitude. As I said, it's just fucking badass. Um, it is one of the tracks that when I think of this album, it comes to mind. It probably comes to mind over a song like Disease, if I'm being honest. Um, Infection is an awesome song. As I said, there's just so much attitude. Um, it sounds fucking awesome. It's nice and heavy, you know, so if you like that stuff, maybe that's a song to check out if you want to, you know, dip your toes into this album. 
Infection Delivers. It's uh, the 10th song on the album. I feel like the end of this album is just very strong in general, but Infection caps off where it really peaks um, towards the end, and yeah, which is what a great song. Coming in at number four is Used and Abused. What I really like about this song personally is this song sounds like it was ripped from Beartooth's first album, Disgusting, and that's a good thing for me because I love that album from pretty much front to back, and I feel like this song, as I said, was just ripped straight from that album. It sounds very similar to uh, Beartooth's early stuff. I just, you know, obviously that's making it sound like it should probably be at number one. There are some songs above it, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, it automatically takes it to the number one spot. But yeah, just really, like, good song. And as I said, sounds a lot like um, Early Beartooth, which I really like. But Used and Abused just delivers again. Just really, just, once again, badass song. Just really heavy, lots of attitude. And definitely one I can always come back to. Top three now into the track that kicks off this album being Greatness or Death. You can tell by the title, you know this song is going to be just a fucking hard hitter, heavy headbanger. Greatness or Death. It's just fucking, it really does go balls to the wall, just fucking delivers heavy instrumentals, fucking Caleb Shomo with his vocals, as always delivers, I actually really like him as a vocalist, I never said that um, in my random album review even, but just always delivers on the vocals he does, and just, as I said, just starts this album off with a bang, like, I'm destined for greatness or death, like, it's just, like, fuck, isn't that the coolest sounding shit ever, what a way to start off this album, and uh, yeah, greatness or death coming in at my number three. My number two was a song that surprised me being You Never Know. This was a song that like, I knew of in the album, but I didn't realise how much I actually liked it. Again, sort of like Believe, it's one of the softer songs on this album. You know, obviously it's still heavy, it still has that attitude, but one of the catchiest choruses on the album, if not the catchiest. Um, you Never Know just fucking delivers. I really love like that chorus, as I said, just um, that melody of, like, um, how Caleb Shomo sings the lyrics and everything really delivers um, definitely one I can find myself coming back to uh, it is track number four on the album um, I feel like just the start of the album and the um, end of the album is where it's really really strong and um, as I said you never know definitely surprised me so <laughs> you know, as, as it says you never know where it could fall came in in my number two so let's get into my number one now and coming in at my number one for Beartooth's album Disease is the seventh track on the album being Manipulation. I said in my random album review there are no songs on this album that really just fucking take this album by the throat and take it to this next level, but... Manipulation is its best effort by far. It's just a fucking great song. Um, just this attitude, the choruses are just fucking demanding. Um, the verses, just all round, it's a really, really solid song. And obviously, I have it at my number one, so Beartooth's best effort for this album. Manipulation is easily a song I can chuck on any time and always find myself coming back to. Unfortunately, overall, it's on an album that I'd consider just slightly above average, but Manipulation, what a great song. Definitely check it out. And there we go, guys, capping off my tracklist ranking for Beartooth's album, Disease. As I said, revisiting this one, I was surprised. You know, not as bad as I remembered. Honestly, I'd, I will be the first to admit I probably slept on it just because I was a little bit let down back in the day when it came out, 2018. Um, I just really wanted it to reach, you know, their first album being disgusting. I wanted it to be on that same level. Didn't quite get there, but, you know, obviously just some time passes. You need to have those times where you go back and revisit some albums and 
um, find, I guess, a new appreciation for it. And that's what um, Disease delivered on, you know, still not the um, Bear Tooth's best effort, um, but definitely better than what I remember it being. So we'll leave it there. As I said, guys, if you want to know my thoughts on the album as a whole, definitely go check out my review. And guys, thank you for watching my tracklist ranking on Beartooth's album Disease, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.